of Pokemon Sun and Moon. It, you know what, now you could transfer from, what do you call it, the original games from the Virtual Console to Moon version, Sun or Moon version, and later Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But what if I told you there is actually, let me go get out my cartridge, a way to transfer from Fire Red to Moon version. There's me Dragon City doing 101. And today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how you could transfer your Fire Red Pokemon all the way to Moon version. Or X or Alpha Sapphire. Now why I say X or Y or Alpha Sapphire or Mega Ruby is because you could do it. But I'm mainly focusing on Sun and Moon today. So yeah, this is also a tutorial on how to um, you know, do that. So first you're going to need a DS. This could be the DS Lite model or the original DS model that has GBA support. You're obviously going to need a, uh, to get yourself a copy of Pokemon Sun, Moon, or Moon, X and Y, or Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. Assuming you're watching this video and you have either of those games. Of course, you're going to have to have a copy of Pl Pokemon Platinum, Diamond or Pearl, Heart Gold or Soul Silver. White, um, white or black, or black 2 or white 2. Um, you're going to have to have either one of these games. So, I'm just going to use white and heart gold. I honestly recommend you use heart gold because you don't need to wait to transfer Pokemon. Of course, you're going to need a Generation 3 game, which could be Fire Red or Leaf Green, or Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald version. Okay, so, here's my Fire Red copy, and first you're going to take your DS, you're going to put the cartridge inside and then you're going to take your heart gold version or soul silver or whatever game you're using to transfer your pokemon put it inside of the ds load it up and pretty much transfer i'm not really going to go through the whole steps but go to Fu uh, fuchsia city or whatever um you have to complete the games for all these by the way go to fuchsia city and uh, pretty much from there, go to Future City, uh, go uh, to the Pal Park or whatever, and go transfer your Pokemon. Uh, but I'll show you how you could get to the menu and how to transfer them, uh, just in case you're not familiar. I'm not going to go through the Pal Park, uh, because it really is, there's no point on going through it, to be honest. But I will show you how you could do this. Alright, so, go right down over here. Migrate from your game and yeah, pretty much that's how you do it. And yeah, just click yes two times. Alright guys, so this is where you're gonna need um two DS's. It could be a two 3DS's, two DS's, um, or it could just be a DS and a 3DS. But yeah, you're gonna go to DS download play on this uh, DS. And over here, you're going to go to DS Download Play on here. And I'm not going to do the full thing, because it would be ridiculous to capture that all on camera. But once you're done playing the mini game here, you're pretty much going to get your Pokemon. And the Pokemon that you don't catch in that mini game, unfortunately, you can't transfer. As stupid as that is, uh, yeah, you can't do it. But, yeah, pretty much you need to have your Heart Gold uh, version in your DS slash 3DS, or your uh, white version in your uh, 3DS slash DS. Now, when you're pretty much done playing the worst Nintendo mini game in the entire universe, you're gonna go still have your white version inside. And you're gonna have to have two things downloaded. Pokebank, which you're gonna need to fortunately uh, pay a subscription fee. And Poke Transporter, which is for free. So, you're gonna go to Poke Transporter and still have white version inside, so don't uh, insert Alpha alpha Sapphire, X or Y, or Sun or Moon, so just wait, and I'm just going to skip the loading time. Also, you need to have your Pokemon that you're transporting in your PC, by the way. I uh, forgot to mention that, but yeah, you can't transfer your Pokemon back, so this is what I'm going to be transporting, and yeah, now you transport this to... Uh, Poke Bank, and it should be in the transport box now. So you're gonna X out of um, this. You're gonna take out your copy of uh, any um, fifth generation game. You're gonna put this in 
you're gonna put moon in, and you're gonna sun or moon. Then you're gonna go to Pokebank, close the software. And I'm just gonna skip the loading time again. Here you are. Now you're gonna go over to your transport box, which here it is. All my Pokemon. And as you can see, it is from Kanto. This may, may actually be... Yeah, this is from Kanto. This is actually from Johto, because I was transferring a few of my Pokemon that... Um, I was transferring a few of my Pokemon from Johto. But... This is pretty much all your Pokemon, and here's a Kanto Pokemon I have. So, you're gonna move your Pokemon inside of your PC box, and I'm just gonna skip this. But you're gonna uh, save your Pokemon that you just put in your PC box. And now you're gonna X out of Pokebank. And I'm just gonna skip this part. Uh, pretty much here you are, so... Here's your, um, PC, and as you can see, here's all your Pokemon. So, here's my, I'll take my Ivysaur, for example. Here's Ivysaur. Summary, on it, summary. As you could see... As you could see, it's from, you could tell I transported it because it's from Kanto. Um, so pretty much, that's how you transfer your Pokemon from, um, what do you call it? Pokemon Rupee or Sapphire, all the way to Sun, um, and Moon, X or Y, or Alpha, um, Sapphire or Mega Ruby. I hope this video, uh, helped you, and have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.